Hey everybody, it's Feel Snipes, and today I am bringing you a tutorial on how to download Siri on any iDevice that is running 5.1.1 firmware. The first obvious thing you're going to want to do is have a jailbroken iDevice. This is very simple. A link will be in the description on how to download Absinthe. Um, this tutorial is for Mountain Lion, the newest uh, version for Mac. So you'll get a download link. It'll look like this. You click the obvious, click here. And it'll come over to here into your little downloads toggle. You're going to want to click this and it'll be right here and you can just open that and it'll do its thing. And then you're going to want to, um, you can put Absinthe on your desktop, but for convenience purposes, you just put it there. I did anyways. So let's just get right into it here. Now, if you try to double click on Absinthe, it will not open. As you see in the bottom right corner here, it'll try to open, but it will not. To bypass this, you're going to want to right click show package contents, open contents, open Mac OS. You're going to want to find Absinthe 10.6, right click on this, open with terminal. And here it is. Here it is. I have mine plugged in. I will not jailbreak my device because I already have my device jailbroken. So it shows you that you have um, an iPhone 4 GSM with iOS 5.1.1 detected click the button to jailbreak so you just click this and it will do its thing don't touch your phone or your iPod or your iPad because this will jailbreak everything on 5.1.1 and also do not shut down terminal because terminal is the thing that is running absinthe so once you have your download completed you're gonna wanna go over onto your iDevice here and you're going to wanna open up Cydia and because it's a new fresh jailbreak, there will be a couple things that you're going to have to follow on screen with Cydia. Um, nothing you can't follow. It's really plain and simple. I like how they did it for you. So after that is all done, you're going to want to click on Manage down here. Click on Sources. Click Edit. Over here to Add. And you're going to want to add this source right here on screen. It's Basim, and then you're going to want to click on add source it'll do its thing just give it a few minutes um, so once that's done you're going to want to ha you're going to have the bass and custom source up top here the second thing you're going to want to um, install is xlize right here so again go to add and you type in this source right here and then click add source let it do its thing and you're going to have the bass and custom source and the xlize source so now that both sources have been downloaded, you're going to open Basim Kasim, scroll down to the bottom, and go to Acid Siri. Click on Acid Siri. Um, yours will say install here, not modify. You click install, and then you click the button in the top right corner again. And it will take some time because it is 95 megabytes. It will take at least, probably minimum, 10 minutes to do it, depending on how good your internet is, your download speed, and whatnot. So after that is done, um, you're going to have a little boot device at the bottom. You're going to want to click on that. Your device will shut down and reboot back up. And then you're just going to want to open up Cydia again. Go to over here to search and click in Assistant Server. All one word. And it's going to have Assistant Server Installer on the top in blue and the bottom one in black the top one in blue is the one you have to pay for but because we installed the xli source in Cydia, you're going to this one is free so click on this one to open it again yours will say install not modify because i already have mine installed click on that again and let it do its thing and i'm pretty sure there's a reboot device if not it's just a respring you have to mandatory click on those either way and then once those two things are done now you will be running Siri, but there are a couple more steps. So you can see here, you're going to want to turn on Siri, and you're going to want to enable Siri. So once this is done, Siri is working, but not 100% working because it cannot ac access the internet for obvious reasons for um, searching the web for whatever you need, checking weather and everything like that. So that's why we have downloaded the Siri server, assistant server. So you're going to want to click on Assistant Server, and it says go to Spire and enter um, this address right here. But instead of going to Spire, you're going to go to Acid Siri on the top here. Click on Proxy Host, and you're going to want to enter this. I'll have it on screen for you right here. 
So once you have typed this into here, you're going to want to click on back. Siri server, you're going to want to hit and start server. I already have my server running. Yours will say wait 5 to 10 seconds for your server to be running and it should be 100% in working order and you will have Siri on your iDevice. So just to show you, show you Siri is working, I'll just activate Siri right now. Hello Siri. It may be a, a bit slow because it is a not the like real legit version of Siri. But as you can see, it understands me and it will talk back again and here I will show you the weather because the your um, Siri server should be working it is a server through Google so it does not matter how many people use it the server will not be jammed up so let me just show you a test of using weather what's the weather like in Prince George British Columbia it'll just give a couple seconds because it's got to think about this So for some odd reason, it only gives you the two-day forecast, which is um, kind of somewhat useless. But nonetheless, it does work. And also, I will show you another important feature about uh, Siri. So here we go. Um, we'll type in an iMessage. And it does have Siri dictation, which is pretty cool. So I'll show you this. This is a test of Siri dictation on iPhone 4 5.1.1 let's just see if it understands this <laughs> it'll take a so this is a test of Siri dictation on iPhone 4 5.1.1 look at that perfect so this is it this is the tutorial on how to get any iDevice on 5.1.1 and if you guys don't believe me I'll open up my general about here and I will show you I am on version 5.1.1. So, th thanks for watching. Um, if you guys could please like and favorite the video, that would be awesome. And subscribe would really help me out a lot. And maybe share this with your friends who are kind of jealous right now of your iPhone 4 with Siri. Or any other iDevice that you may have run Siri on. So, thanks for watching the video.